Hi, this is James from tracingmat.co.uk and I'm here with the Sony Ericsson Vavaz which I'm currently reviewing at the moment so just thought I'd give you a quick uh, a quick video demo of uh, a few of its features um, Matt obviously run through the uh, the hardware uh, on the unboxing video so we won't bother talking about buttons and that sort of thing um, but let's just jump straight into the home screen um, here at the top you'll see we've got five icons we'll come back to those in just a minute down at the bottom there's a further four, four icons the one on the left is the phone dialer um, that's obviously extremely simple and straightforward to use next to that we have some media options and this will this will just take you into uh, obviously the, either the photos, video or music um, and again it's just a with the photos it's a case of scrolling from left to right and we can turn that into a into landscape mode as well Nice bit, of, nice bit of scrolling going on there. Okay, uh, next that we have the messaging application, and while we're here, I'll show you the keyboards. Um, now, this one here is the Mini QWERTY, and as you can see, it's at the top of the screen, and that's because you can actually move it from the top to the bottom. Um, why you would want it at the top, I don't really know, but. Um, but it's there at the moment, and to t you know, it's absolutely tiny. It is it is possible to type on it, but it's extremely hard. Um, certainly not one that I'd be using. But luckily, we have some other options. Uh, we have the uh, the alphanumeric keypad, so the traditional kind of uh, keypad. So that's that's dead easy. Um, and then finally, we have the uh, the full QWERTY. Praise the Lord because this is the only one that I can get on with um, and this is actually not too bad there's a tiny bit of haptic feedback um, yeah and I can type on this one you know okay it's not fantastic but it's doable so some good keyboards and some ex and an extremely bad keyboard um, the final icon here at the bottom is just a search um, and that's that's actually doing a web search so before I um, before actually going on to this, you've obviously got to make sure you've got a SIM card or you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Now, up at the top, on the left-hand side, here we have, um, this is where we can add favourite contacts. Um, let's add one now, and I've only got one contact in here, which is me. And that, yeah, so there we are. So my name now is now on there. So you could put your friends and family on there, just to uh, get in touch with them nice and quickly. Next up, we have a Twitter application, um, which I'm actually not too keen on. Um, as you can see, I mean the the screen on the device is only 3.2 inches, so it's not massive. And as you can see, the the text on here is absolutely tiny. I mean it's readable, um, but it, it's not fantastic. The other thing that I don't like about this particular application is you can only fit. 20, uh, 20 tweets on a page and then at the bottom it gives you an option to uh, to go to the the actual web page to view more so you know it kind of defeats the object of using this application I think if if, if you're going to get the Vivaz um, or probably any Symbium handset you're going to use a, a different third party Twitter application if you're, if you're into tweeting okay the middle one is obviously just the home screen um, the next one is a shortcut to photos which we've had a, a brief look at and then the one on the, the right is kind of like a another sort of um, menu where you you could have your sort of most common features um, so yeah obviously that's customizable you'll see here we've got wise pilot um, let's have a quick look at that and this is basically uh, Sony Ericsson's uh, voice uh, voice navigation navigation GPS service um, it seems to work okay. Um, I can't show exactly it working uh, at the moment because I'm indoors and got no GPS. But uh, it's 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 fairly easy to use. Um, you know, I've, I've used this on uh, on previous Sony Ericsson devices, and not had a problem with it at all. So, um, and because it's free, it's fantastic. So a big plus there for the Vivaz. Um, okay, coming out of this menu, going back to the home screen. Um, center key at the bottom here between the call uh, center and end key if you press that that brings you into the main menu uh, and this is where you can tweak the settings and find some additional applications here we have the 
the app so we'll have a quick look in there um, we've got things like the radio um, um, YouTube games that sort of thing um, I'll show you the YouTube client actually very quickly um, oh, I've left it on the on the search page so if we do a search there for Tracy map it should bring up some videos eventually there we go so we'll just click on one that should start playing Samsung i900 Omnia, which we're just going to do a quick unbox before we have a little look at the interface, and, and then we'll go on. So the um, the screen um, the screen on the, the device seems pretty good, although the, the the YouTube video was very blocky, very grainy. So it's uh, it's not going to be the best device for uh, uh, for for streaming video, that's for sure. Um, what else can we show you? Uh, oh, I know what we better show the, uh, the the camera interface because the uh, the device comes with a, an 8.1 megapixel camera and it also uh, also shoots video in HD, which is rather nice. Oops, and I've gone and pressed the wrong button. There we go. Okay, we'll try again. So. The camera's fairly easy to use. Um, on this side of the device, there are two buttons. One's for the video recorder, one's the, for the camera button. So you can use those to fire up the camera or the video camera nice and quickly. Uh, and obviously it's a, a case of uh, pressing the button to take a shot. But in terms of the interface, um, it's fairly simple. Um, here we go. On the left-hand side uh, are where the options are to, uh, to tweak the settings. Uh, we've got some scenes there. It's on auto at the moment. We've got sort of portraits, uh, landscape, documents, various other ones. Below that, we have the short, short shoot mode. So we've got normal, panorama, smart detection, and touch capture. Below that, uh, we've got the focus, so we've got the on auto focus. There's a macro option as well, um, infinite face detection. Below that is where we can change the exposure, and below that is where we can switch on the auto settings, which is uh, normally what I tend to leave on. Um, looking at the video camera, if we press the, uh, the video button, that should take us into the video camera eventually. Here we go. And again, the settings are extremely similar. Uh, we've got a night mode there. The microphone you can have on or off. Um, focus is autofocus or infinite. Um, there you go. What I think of the camera and the uh, video camera, you'll have to read my review for, which should be on tracymac.co.uk um, at some point in the next probably three or four days. Um, if you don't follow us on Twitter, you can do at uh, twitter.com forward slash Tracy and Matt. And if you follow us there, we will tweet when the review is on the site.